Today, we're gonna see if ChatGPT can predict how good or bad a YouTube video is just based on the comment section. We'll analyze Mr. B's Squid Game, YouTube Rewind 2018, and if you stay till the end, we'll put my entire channel to the test. I'll show you my entire process, step by step, including every single line of code I wrote, so you can write the same experiment by yourself. Thanks to Udemy for sponsoring this video. So how did we get here? Well, the other day I saw this comment on my most popular video by an account named Leonard Media. And I won't read you the entire comment, but ChatGPT so kindly concluded, overall it seems that Naman Kapoor's video has been beneficial and inspiring for many viewers. And this got me thinking. Leonard had asked ChatGPT to analyze a subset of the comments from my How I'd Learn to Code video. And the result was positive. And the video had done extremely well. And that couldn't just be a coincidence. What ChatGPT is doing isn't new. It's just a form of sentiment analysis which has been around since the 1950s and basically allows us to understand the perception of a document, either positive, negative, or neutral. And I'm willing to bet most YouTube comment sections are not neutral. They're either very positive or very negative. Back in the day, the number of dislikes in a video gave you a pretty good idea of how viewers felt, but YouTube got rid of the feature but they did not get rid of the comment section, an entertaining goldmine of information. So let's get to work. As a first attempt, I simply asked ChatGPT to answer the question. For example, analyzing all the comments from Mr. B's Squid Game video. But it couldn't because it can't just search up things and perform analysis. It needs you to pass in the data you want to analyze as text, and then it can offer you insights based on its training data, which in this case is basically anything on the internet up to year 2021. Because I'm a nice person, and also mostly because I didn't want to get kicked out of the beta, I asked ChatGPT if there was a limit to how many characters I could ask it. And there isn't, so, so far so good. Now, if I was sloppy and didn't care enough, I could just copy a bunch of comments and then paste it on ChatGPT, and though ugly, it would work. But I'm a programmer, so I should do what programmers do. And by that, I mean going on Google and searching for the answer. And what do you know, someone has already figured out how to get all the comments from our YouTube video in a really nice, pretty, readable format. This website takes in the YouTube URL and spits out an array of JSON blobs, which is exactly what we want. But unluckily for me, the website only worked once, but then on subsequent iterations, it would keep error. I scoured the internet for additional websites, but nothing worked. So in the spirit of the coding mindset, I decided to take matters into my own hands and write my own program to get all the comments from our YouTube video. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did it in 30 seconds. Start the timer. First, make sure you have a Google account. Then go to the developer dashboard, create a new set of credentials and copy the API key, find the YouTube API you wanna use, and then write some Python code. There's still some time left on the clock. And you didn't think I was gonna leave you out to dry like that, did you? Let me show you all the code I wrote. Restart the timer. First, copy paste some example code from Stack Overflow and then make some tweaks. Write some print statements to see exactly what's happening. Then introduce a bug, because by having the URL outside of the while loop, next token is never changing. Duh. Fix the bug by putting the URL inside the while loop where it obviously belongs. And then get fancy and write a main function that reads in some command line arguments and that's it, we're done. The code will take in a YouTube URL and spit out the first 100 page of comments in a text file, comments.txt. And if you're wondering why 100 pages, well, some of these videos have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of comments, so we'd be here all day. And because I'm fancy, I actually made the number of pages a variable, so you could change it from 100 to whatever you want. And I know it's not that fancy, but you know me, modular code. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's run our program on Mr. Beast Squid Game. All we need is the video URL, and then we just run our Python code. This is gonna take a minute because there are hundreds of thousands of comments. So in the meantime, let me tell you how you can learn to write Python scripts like this by yourself. Udemy is the premier online learning platform where you can find courses in any language and filter them by a bunch of parameters like rating, topic, and level. To get the skills you need to create your own YouTube comment scraper, you need more scripting knowledge than actual computer science fundamentals. So while I think Angela Yu's 100 Days of Python course is great, and so is Jose Portilla's Zero to Hero course, I'd actually recommend you check out the Automate the Boring Stuff with Python course. Oh wait, our code finished running, so I'll tell you more about Udemy in just a couple minutes. For now, let's sanity check comments.txt to make sure nothing looks funky. One of the comments says, amazing work, Mr. Beast. And another one says, this just makes me want to watch Squid Game right now, which is super relatable. All right, let's copy paste all these comments onto ChatGPT and see what it says. So turns out ChatGPT actually lied to me and there is in fact a character limit, but no worries. All we have to do is import the random library and then we just have to shuffle all the pages of comments together. So when we grab the first hundred or so, we're not biased by the top most liked comments. Easy. You can even ask it to say more. Pretty accurate. Seems like most people enjoyed the video and only had positive things to say, which we would expect because it's Mr. Beast and who doesn't love Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast, if you're watching, I would love to collab.
Now, let's try the same thing with YouTube Rewind 2018. But this video has more than 2 million comments, so this is going to take a couple minutes. In the meantime, let me finish telling you about the awesome Python automation course. It covers all the essential data structures like strings and lists and dictionaries, but also goes in depth into web scraping, file manipulation, and interacting with the command line. Basically, everything I needed to know to write my YouTube comment aggregator. Udemy is running some amazing promotions right now, so be sure to check out the course and some other amazing resources in the description below. All right, we have all the comments. Let's quickly sanity check them. These comments are not kind. This one says, this video has 20 million dislikes as of December, 2022. I think we're good here. Let's feed ChatGPT and see what it says. As expected, it nicely summarized the comment section for YouTube Rewind 2018 and said that most people were generally unhappy and dissatisfied. Sorry, YouTube. All right, so ChatGPT is pretty incredible. It can parse through hundreds of thousands of comments and give out some really nice summaries, predicting if the video is actually good or bad. So that just leaves us with one last question. What do you all think about my content? Rather than just checking the comments from one video, we're gonna tweak my Python script to grab the comments from each of my videos since starting the channel. To keep things clean and separate, we're gonna make a new Python file called getchannelcomments.py. Because the code is pretty modular, we just have to write a new function to grab all the videos from my channel and then feed each video ID into the get comments from video ID function I already wrote. To do this, we'll use another YouTube API route called slash search. All right, now we have all the code we need. We just have to pass in my channel URL and grab all the comments. Okay, this is also gonna take a minute, so I guess we can just stare into each other's souls. Or I can just fast forward through this part. Yeah, let's speed it up. Now, let's feed ChatGPT for the very last time. All right, seems like you all find my content at least somewhat valuable, and I truly appreciate it. I wouldn't be here without all your support, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. To summarize, Mr. Beast is great, YouTube Rewind 2018, not so much, and Naman Kapoor, well, the people have spoken. I think you have to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, that's all I have. Till next time, cheers.